Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to air layer an aeroid houseplant. This can be anything from apothos, philodendrons, scandapsis, monstera, or even like this uh, raffida for decursva, which I've been air layering for a few weeks. So I'll show you the uh, root development or progression on this one. Plus, I'm also going to show you how to set this up um, on my uh, golden pothos here. So let's get into it. Essentially what air layering is, is you're starting the rooting process while the plant is still intact. You haven't made any cuttings or anything like that. So that's typically how like most people will propagate a uh, house plant is they'll chop it up, put it in water, or they'll put it in perlite or sphagnum moss. And then the rooting process will begin after that. This is essentially, you are providing a, a little bit of uh, soil or moss to encourage those aerial roots to grow into the uh, into, into the rooting medium there. And then once it is uh, sufficiently rooted, you can chop that up, um, take that top cutting, just literally stick it in a container of soil and the process is complete. I decided to try the air layering method with this plant, not only for demonstration purposes of this video, but I wanted to basically give it the strongest support system because as you can see, the stem is quite thick up here. Uh, but as you go lower, um, it is quite thin at this part. So I want to give it the best chance to, um, I guess, grow upright on a plank uh, with a strong support system. So that's why I decided to try this. And I think it's a pretty cool method uh, to continue to let this plant grow and get those mature leaves. It shouldn't stunt the growth as long as there's enough roots to sustain like this size of a cutting. So I'm not taking a, like a large cutting. I didn't cut it like way back to the bottom. Uh, I think there's only like maybe four or five nodes uh, it's got one leaf and it's got a new one coming. So I'm a little, uh, I guess, curious to see if this method will affect the new uh, leaf coming out. I don't think it will just because it has a pretty good root system, which I'll show you here in a second. I've started to grow a lot of plants on planks. They're all down there. None of them have reached the top yet. Uh, this golden Hawaiian pothos has reached the top of the burlap pole. And that's a question that I commonly get about growing plants upright is what am I planning on doing once they kind of outgrow the, uh, the pole, the plank, whatever you're using, and you can no longer extend it. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is air layering. So that's essentially um, what I'm doing with this one. So you place the soil around these aerial roots. You can see right here, here's a node. Here's all these little bumps. Those are aerial roots. You'll put some soil or moss around that, encourage those roots to grow into that medium, and then just uh, take that cutting and then you can basically start over. That should continue the process of getting uh, each new leaf larger. So when you take this cutting, put it in its own new pot with a plank, and then each new leaf should start to get larger and it'll just continue that uh, growing, uh, maturing process of the plant. Now for the existing mother plant, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing with those yet or this one in particular. Once I uh, uh, take the top cuttings off, I might uh, propagate it further, I might sell the plant. I'm not too sure what I'll do with that yet, but uh, let's uh, open up this little package and see what uh, the roots look like on this air layering project. And then I'll show you, uh, it's a little bit labor intensive, I guess, it can get a little bit messy. Um, but I'll show you how to uh, set up the air layering uh, process. Okay, I'm going to take this one off first because I'm also curious about what these roots look like. I have not opened this up at all. It looks like it's all off. I'm just going to tear this open. Okay, so I'm going to take my pruning shears and I'm going to cut it just above the last node where a leaf comes out. So here's a leaf node. Here's a node, it doesn't have a leaf, but I'm gonna cut it just above that, something like this. I'm gonna catch this cutting because I don't want it to, there. There, now I have a fully rooted decursive cutting. Holy smokes, look at these roots. And this aerial root is actually growing. So it's telling me, oh, back here too, it is trying to search out for something to grow up or climb up on. So this is a perfect cutting for the plank, which I'll be doing here in a moment, but I'm gonna show you how to set this little, it, obviously you could see it, it wasn't difficult, uh, but I'll just show you how I do it. Oh, I forgot. Um, I did propagate a ficus elastica uh, robusta that I uh, air layered as well, which I'll show you that. It's a little bit of a different process. If you want to go check out that video, I'll leave it up in the top corner here, but I'm going to grab that and show you guys. Um, I air layered it. Um, I chopped it up three weeks ago, I think. And yeah, probably took a month or so to root, but I'll show you what the roots look like. 
Okay, here's the uh, Robusta. And when I propagated it, it only had, you know, maybe like a, a couple inches of roots. Um, and this has been rooting in soil now for three weeks. Look at this, tons of roots. I am, I'm blown away. I took it out of the pot this morning and I was blown away by how many roots this plant has. Like it's growing up out of the soil. That's gonna outgrow this pot. Absolutely crazy. So I am convinced by the air layering method uh, that is, it's good for the plant. Um, it establishes a really good root system before putting it in its own container. But look at those roots, crazy. Although this is the stem that has kind of outgrown the pole, I want the one with the largest leaves, which happens to be the middle section. I'll be propagating it right here at this node. So I'm just going to take this top one off and just let it kind of get out of the way. This will be a good opportunity to see if this is rooted in the burlap, which it doesn't appear to be so. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is remove this. Actually, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna remove this leaf right here. I'm just gonna cut this one off because all the other ones are larger. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this leaf off because I'll be propagating uh, from this node right here. And I think I'm actually going to take this one off as well, just that way it gives me a couple areas. I'm gonna be using this node down here as well. With the other method, I just used some saran wrap with some uh, plant ties. That can be a little bit difficult uh, to get the soil in there without uh, causing a huge mess, but I'm actually gonna be trying this little orchid pot. So I cut out the middle of the uh, bottom of the pot and I also cut a slit along the side so that you can wrap it around the stem. So you can see that goes around both those nodes. It seats itself just like that. Then I'll just simply add soil in the container and then I will cover it with some saran wrap and that way it keeps in the humidity and moisture. I already pre-wet some soil and I'm just going to start placing it in the little cup. This is the way I propagated my um, ficus elastica as well with a little plastic cup. So I'm getting some water drainage out the bottom, which is fine as long as the soil is not completely falling through. I'm just trying to get the cutting center in the pot. And I'll just continue to add soil around it, making sure all that soil comes in contact with those aerial roots. I don't know if this is going to be large enough or not, but I just got a piece of saran wrap. I'm going to wrap it around the sides. It'll do just fine. Wrap it around the sides like this, making sure that the top is enclosed. I will keep an eye on the soil. Uh, if it looks dry, then I can open up the top and then just you can either use a misting bottle or you can uh, just dump some water in there until it comes out the bottom. Okay, so I added this uh, plant tie uh, around the back of the burlap pole just to stabilize the, uh, the cup of soil here, just so it doesn't flop around and potentially snap the stem. I got two nodes in there. This one's reattached, so I think this, uh, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna be placing it, I think, downstairs here. Uh, this was upstairs in my south-facing window or close to it, but I think I'm gonna keep it downstairs here and uh, see if we can uh, continue to get these uh, larger leaves. Now, I'm going to pot up this uh, raffita for cutting in uh, some soil with, I have one more pine plank. I don't recommend pine, I guess, um, specifically because pine over time can rot. Uh, if you want to place a plank in a pot or you can secure it outside the pot, whatever you prefer, um, I would suggest using cedar. It's a much harder um, rot resistant or it doesn't rot as fast as pine. So for all my further projects with planks or plants on planks, I'll be using cedar. I'm just using Promix's Tropical Plant Mix and then I'm using this uh, rather chunky perlite. It is the Dutch Treat uh, 10 liter perlite bag and I absolutely love this stuff. It's just, it's big and chunky and it's good for uh, just a nice airy mixture. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. Huge chunks of perlite, oh, there's my pencil. I'm gonna place the plank in here first, just at the bottom and at the back of the pot. And I'm just going to add some soil in here first 
making sure this plank remains upright, just like that. Just pack it down and then I'm going to add this cutting just like that. Hold it um, just so you can see the roots are just kind of below the soil line. I'm going to lightly hold that and then just dump all the soil in. I'll give it a good thorough watering, making sure this is nice and centered so that those aerial roots latch onto the, uh, the plank. I'm just going to dump it in. Doesn't have to be anything pretty, just pack it down, give it some water, secure the cutting to the plank, and you are done. Okay, here's the finished product. I just spread off the plant, cleaned it up a little bit, uh, gave it some water. I added a little uh, plant tie to the plank so it encourages those aerial roots to latch onto the plank and continue to grow upright. You can see it's uh, quite a large plank, so it's got a lot of room to grow. Here is the mother plant, which I took the uh, propagated cutting from. I can uh, propagate this further if I want. I'm just gonna let it uh, uh, push out some new growth, see what happens. I'm curious to see if it gets another mature leaf or if it uh, reverts back to more of these uh, smaller juvenile ones, but uh, it has a decent root system, so it should get another large leaf and you can propagate that again if you so choose. And here is the pothos. Um, air layering uh, little propagation container. So I'll be providing some updates with this one obviously down the road with how the uh, roots are developing on this one. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. I appreciate the support. Thanks again for watching everyone. Take care, bye.